Welcome back to Operation Pixel. Just looking through some of our cards here. Let me get out of this mess. Have we decided which game we're going to next? I have not decided. Let's decide live. Okay. Alright. I was also sort of curious if we were going to get ambushed by a rifle on the way out again. It would have surprised me, but it could have happened. Uh, so let's see. We got the Grass Club. I don't want to do that because we're using... No, our current deck would we be... Got... Okay, we got there. electricity and grass. Yeah, it'd be great to have fire types for there. But we don't really need yeah. to worry about types, like, too much. Our current deck is pretty good. Uh, Psychic Club... I don't know, I have a premonition we'd get wrecked there. <laughs> a premonition? I don't know why. For it's the Psychic Club? Something came over and we're like, let's not do that one. We got the Science Club? Eh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I feel like that would be, like... Club. Like a, uh... Magnemite kind of heavy? Uh, maybe, but the Electric Gym already had a lot of that. So I don't actually know. I would expect maybe, like, poison types like Grimer and Muck and stuff? Maybe? Uh, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh man, something's really bothering my nose. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe. No, maybe, maybe sneezy, sneezy. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna do it, do it, do it loud. Do it as loud as you can. I don't want to. I mean, we're far, I'm we're being far recorded. apart. We're far apart. No, I'm just gonna blow my nose. It doesn't matter. It don't matter if it spikes the audio. I care so much about quality, man. You don't even know. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm a little bit worried about going to the fighting club because we still have electric types in our deck. Yeah, they're pretty soft. So we're using grass types too, so fires out. So probably grass, psychic, or science. Uh, let's do psychic. The place you said you had a premonition we were gonna get destroyed. Possibly. Sure. Let's do it. Who are you, lad? <laughs> His name is Lad. Lad. <laughs> lad the lad. What? You also want the legendary Pokemon cards? I want them too, but I'm still not quite good enough. Wow, great conversation. Uh, who are you? Chap, I dropped all my cards, so I'm putting them in order here. Alright, so, so far, Lad and Chap. Yep. Hi, I'm oh, Robert. Robert. I'm a member of the Psychic Club. My ghost deck is really strong, doesn't have any weaknesses. And it's difficult for own opponent's attacks to cause damage. Would you like to duel me? Oh, hey, we found a duel already. Cool, let's beat the crap out of Robert. Ah, <clears throat> uh, with his ghost dick. Oh, he looks like a derp. A little bit, yeah. Derp. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Did you not look derpy when you were 10? I don't care. I'm gonna... I'm gonna shame all 10-year-olds for looking derpy. <laughs> uh... Oh, I just realized there's something else cool I could do if we're going to be fighting a lot of psychic types. Maybe I'll do that with the deck between episodes or next time I have a chance to edit. Uh... Alright, we'll start with that. Just realized that I didn't put my second pair of headphones on, so hold on. I want to hear the music. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. In case anyone's forgotten, I'm dual-wielding headphones. Because that's the only way nice. for me to make this work. Which is weird, because it works for me just fine. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting the, 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 the results of my labor. <laughs> like, I have I have one headset of headphones that are hooked up to the TV, and then one set God, of headphones I, that I are hooked up to the computer. I forgot that we had, like a, like, a headphone splitter when we would play together. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, we're still here. Still set up. Yep. Still using it. Yep, hopefully within the next month or so. Yep. Or, no, within a month. Yeah. It won't be too much longer, hopefully. Things are heading in a positive direction. At least here in the... Uh... Oh! Positive direction! Okay. <laughs> How excited for you with a new... How excited are you for the new Pokemon Snap? I honestly haven't been following it at all. <laughs> it is coming out this weekend. Oh, wow, that's really soon. I didn't realize. It was announced, like, half a year ago. Yep. Sounds about right. Dude, I have been watching the trailers. Dude. 
dude. Mm hmm. I think that should be our our get together game. Oh, that'd be fun. Just hold off on it until uh, pandemic's over, and then we can yeah take pictures of Pokemon and high five. Yes, I mean it's so chill. It's that'd be kind yeah, of fun. I'm so excited we've, for it. Yeah, we've got so many games too that we've been waiting to play for the end of the pandemic. It'll be nice. Uh, what am I doing? Getting Electabuzz charged. It's a near thing about Pokemon Snap and hanging out with friends and high fives. <laughs> I know. Oh it's, man, it's so... I was in another world. Oh, no, it's yes. It's it's. It, I I want that so bad. Prowls like, is... dude. Sure. Nice slap shot. Nice uh, nice picture of Mew. Give me a high five. Yep. <laughs> like. I can't dude, do that right now. Dude, I miss giving high five so much. Like, I was like the high five guy. Yeah. That was my thing. Yeah, you were. You were. You're like, you're <laughs> like oh, nice hole, dude. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I gave so many high fives. I don't know if people yeah, like giving high fives, was... but I like giving them. <laughs> yeah, back back when I was uh, working with you with uh, my parents a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Like, we kept having to hold back on high fives. Yeah. It's like, we just kept calling each other bro. Yeah. Yeah, we had a... <laughs> had a bro. <laughs> There's just a joke where we just started saying, Yeah, bro. Nice nice job with that, bro. Good work with that trim, bro. That, <clears throat> that was that became our high five. Yeah. Like, <laughs> normally when we have a high five, it's like, Nice cut there, bro. Yeah. It was just fun to say bro, like, way too much. <laughs> All right, Electabuzz is off to a good start here. I'm a little bit worried Shop about bro. this because he's probably going to start paralyzing me. Oh no, we've all been the hunter. Is this the good hunter? No, this is the bad hunter. Uh, it depends on how good my coin flips are, hunter. I should be a little more clear. Nice, nice coin flip, bro. It was not a nice coin flip. <laughs> I wish it was. I tried to. You niced me. On the lag. You niced me. <laughs> I did. I totally did. You monster. Oh, I I totally niced you. I forgot about nicing. Uh, let's use Gust of Wind so he doesn't Dream Eater me. Nice Gust of Wind, bro. Yep, so I should be safe for now, unless Ditto is free to retreat. It is not. Cool. Uh, means he's at least gonna have to burn an energy to do it. Yeah, I think Dream Eater does like 50 damage, but it requires me to be asleep. Uh, so I basically have two coin flips before it gets back to his turn. If I fail both those coin flips, then Electabuzz is half dead in an instant. I don't like gambling. Uh, I mean, it, it's weird. I don't like gambling, but that's literally what so much of like these games is, right? Luck yeah. of the draw, luck of the coin flips. Okay, I did wake up anyways, so I've been okay. But... Nice job looking up, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> really proud of myself for waking up. <sighs> that's the other thing, too, is I liked that it was just like relentless positivity for no reason. Even over, like, small things. Uh. I'm gonna keep it going all episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice playing that basic, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Gotta get that pincer. All jacked up, bro. Move, bro. Uh, nice job, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he got a double colors on that ditto. That means uh, it's about to transform. What happens if it transforms? I think that's not good, bro. Uh, place Ditto with a copy of a basic Pokemon card other than Ditto chosen at random from your deck. Oh, it removes all damage counters from it, too. That sucks. Sucks, bro. Uh, let's do this, then. <laughs> if I can paralyze it, it won't matter. I didn't paralyze it, bro. That sucks, bro. <laughs> Yep, he's gonna transform it. Morphs to Zubat! 
Too bad. Sucks, bro. Well, it's sort of a bad choice for him. I think. Yeah, isn't that weak to electricity? Uh, this one isn't. Normally they would lame. be. This one's weak to psychic types. That's totally lame, bro. Uh, but I can one-hit kill this one, where I could not one-hit kill his last guy. So, it sort of works out for me, in a way. Nice, bro. Uh, Thunder Punch. Come on. He's Heads. dead, bro. Yeah! He's got the dead, Zubat, bro. bro! I got the Zubat, bro! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if we high fived as much as we said, bro? <laughs> We'd be psychopaths. Okay, really quick, God I'm looking back at Electabuzz. <laughs> I yep. always, like, as a kid, I always thought he was shooting thunderbolts out of his armpits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Aw, <laughs> oh, so silly. He's like, smell my BO, bro! <laughs> 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 Alright. Pikachu. Into Raichu. Lightning energy. Uh, nice involvement, bro. Yeah. We're basically just waiting for something to happen here, because he didn't play an energy last turn, which means he's basically just hung here trying to either get an energy or keep me asleep. Uh, or so we'll see how long the stalemate BO lasts. coming out of Electabuzz's armpits. Yep. You smell what Electabuzz uh -oh. is cooking? Nah, it's fine. I woke up. So now he's just gonna try to put me back to sleep again. Still didn't play an energy this turn. Or play a basic Pokemon. Whatever's in his hands, it must be worthless. Come on, heads? Yeah! Electabuzz nice, woke up, bro! Alright. Uh, none of that's helpful. My hand is also Shoot crap. that armpit B.O. into his face. Let's go for that thunder punch, bro! God, he really looks like he's, like, raising his arms. <laughs> and shooting electricity out of his pits. Maybe it's his elbows. It's Can you imagine pits. just having, like, freaking electricity shoot from your elbows? Like, <laughs> every superhero is, like, using their hands for everything. But, like, you don't get to choose where your superpowers come from. <laughs> Doesn't have to be your your eyes or your hands. <laughs> like like imagine if it's your elbows and your knees. <laughs> all the cool action poses in comic books. He's like he's like all hunched over, pushing his knee out in front of his face. Dude, imagine like any superhero, and then imagine their powers sourced from their like elbows, and it becomes instantly funny. Like uh, Wolverine, elbows. Oh god, like, well, no, that would actually be kind of cool, like a giant blade coming out of his elbow. <laughs> it would have that its moments. That would be kind of neat. It would have its moments, but it's like immediately weird, right? Yeah. Uh... Okay, okay, what would be the worst superhero to have their their power come from their elbow? Oh, I think I just win. Um, I think it would be the Hulk. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry, his elbows turn green. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it's just like a giant buff elbow that blocks everything. <laughs> and it's just some wimpy, like... I don't know, that's sort of a full body thing. I'm trying to think of, like, specific powers, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, Cyclops could shoot lasers from his elbows. <laughs> I don't know if that's the worst... Uh, superpower to come from your elbows, but... It would look really weird. It's like, I can't really aim it, dude. Yeah. You'd have to, like, <laughs> you put up both your arms, like, hands on your shoulders, so you got, like, these shoulder cannons, and you're just like, pew pew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, who... Oh, I'm not... I'm not super fond of, like, superheroes, but I'm trying to figure out who would be the... the weirdest elbow or knee mm -hmm. powers. Legendary Pokemon cards are the ultimate cards. Everyone wants to inherit the legendary cards. That's why you play against so many different people. I just lost a duel, so I can't play right now. That sucks, bro. Spider-Man. Hey, this guy's name is Pappy. Oh, Spider-Man would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Start shooting webs from his elbows. 
<laughs> exactly. Or climbing up a building by his elbows and knees. Oh god. He's like, I, I could just, I could just imagine him like his arms behind his ears, just like if <laughs> swinging through buildings. Imagine Spider-Man climbing up a building like on his elbows and knees. Like he would oh, actually look so like so gross. He would look like a horror monster, right? <laughs> He'd look like an actual spider. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like people who think too highly of themselves. That's why I don't like the members of the Psych Club. I wish I could knock them off their high horses. Would you try to defeat Murray, the Psych Club Master? If you defeat Murray, I'll give you something really valuable. Grant the old man's wish. Sure, bro. So, basically, win this match? Yeah. Do that thing you were gonna do right. anyways. We can do that, bro. Yeah. Good, I'll be waiting here for you. So we gotta make sure to talk to him after we oh, win. I wanna check my mail really quick. Sometimes the professor... Oops, not here. Sometimes the professor sends me mail with cards in it! Oh, uh, I see I have some linking things. I have some information for you about Amy's deck. She's oh, the we, master we, of the Water Club. Her. <laughs> her deck uses Rain Dance, Blastoise's Pokemon power. This deck allows her to keep attaching water energy to a water Pokemon to power them up. Her deck's weakness is Lightning Pokemon. I suggest you duel her using the deck from the Psychic Metal Machine. Oh yeah, this deck is sort of, or uh, this game is sort of like uh, Mega Man in that like you can turn you in the where you want to go, but yeah, certain ones are weak to others. Yeah, so you can get some advantages by doing them in certain orders, uh, which well, I've completely ignored because I'm doing what I want. Anyways, here's a booster pack for you. Oh, nice. That's why I wanted to check my email. Mystery! Uh, Violet Who Ooh, man, keep at it and don't give up! Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason. Winky face. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God, when... <laughs> What's up? When did the winky face happen? Uh, he's been sending them this whole time. Or did you mean in our culture? Like, in reality. I don't know. That's actually a fair question, because, because this would have definitely come out before most instant messaging programs. No, yeah, when I was actually just talking about this with a co-worker, um, about how people who were growing up in the 90s, mm -hmm. um, like people, like, like, LOL and ROL, R, like, all that stuff, that was all imagined back when you had to push the button for the key, like, eight times. Uh, I feel like it almost certainly started from computer before it went to phones. Because, yeah. I feel like typing, phones made it big, though. Typing on phones is terrible. I... I feel like... Nowadays, you know, yeah, you can do, like, the, the slide... Yeah, it might have been more popular on phones, just because, like... You definitely didn't want to type that out. <laughs> right, if you said, like, Ha ha ha, that's really funny. I can't stop laughing. Or you could type ROFL. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that was... Uh, and see. back in the 90s, before you had, like, the, the touch screens, it's like you had to actually push the keypad, like, four times <gasps> to get to, to, like, the letter R. He's giving me two booster packs. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll, I'll forget what I'm saying about then. No, it's fine. Ooh, an evolution pack. Blast but noise! Yeah, this is the one I was talking about, man. There's rain dance right there. Uh oh. As often as you like during your turn, before you attack, you may attach one water energy card to one of your Pokemon. Or one of your water Pokemon. Uh, this doesn't use up your one energy card attachment for the turn. So you can just pump out, like, every energy card in your hand, use Professor Oak, go get some more energy cards and evolution cards, and then be like, there we go. <laughs> Freaking. Oh. Just destroy everyone. That Blastoise was banned in tournaments for being too good. <laughs> I think it's my third copy of it, too. So, we're getting there. Nice! I just need the Pokemon breeders, I think, so I can start cheating up my evolutions. Wasn't, a uh, Pot of Jeed banned, too? Uh... <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh? It was limited to one. I don't know if that one was banned. Maybe it was. Uh... I know a lot of the other cards I, I played get... with were, but... 
I didn't really get into Yu-Gi-Oh. I yeah. think I played it with you, and that's it. You've won quite a few medals. Okay, let's duel. But I see the future. You will lose. Would you like to duel Stephanie? Sure. Okay. Sure thing, bro. Single match with four prizes. Here we go. There she is. Stephanie's strange power deck. She's 16. 16 what? She looks older. I mean, maybe? It's freaking like, anime, much man. Older. Like, anime is so weird, because you can have, like, a... Anime is like, weird. Like, somebody could be, like, 400 years old and they look like they're 12. I wasn't going to go that far. I was going to say, like, you could have 20-year-olds who look like they're 8. And, like, 8-year-olds who are, like, you know, look like they're 15. The first thing that came to mind was Fire Emblem. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The, the uh, dragon. The dragon girls. Yeah. They're like, yeah, I look like I'm 12, but I'm, like, 600 years old. Mm-hmm. Like, that doesn't make it okay. <laughs> yeah, but Japan is weird. Like, I think the, the age of consent in Japan is, like, 12 or something. What? Really? Something like that. I think that's why it's, like, less weird. Uh, and why it's... Because I know that so there was a couple episodes of Pokemon stuff. here that were banned because, like... Misty was in, like, a bikini, mm -hmm. and there were, like, a couple older guys that were, like, hitting on her. Mm -hmm. And that one never made it to the States. Oh, absolutely not. I don't... But like, I'm not okay with the age of consent being 12. That is weird. Like, 12-year-olds uh, are too yes, dumb. Yes, that's very weird. 12-year-olds are dumb. Like, you're just taking advantage of them. <laughs> uh, Especially if you're an old dude. Freaking weirdos. But um, I think they do actually have like oh, cause I, it's just like how different countries I'm have gonna... different drinking ages, right? Yeah, I think what was Canada like eighteen? Maybe something like that. Oh god, I, I'm gonna look it up right now because that seems very weird. Yeah, but I think that's why it's sort of like more acceptable in Japan and why it's in so many like manga and anime. But yes, I agree. It is strange. Okay. Age of consent in Japan is 13 years old. Okay, I was off by one, but still alarming. That low. is terrible. The so. age of consent in Japan is 13 years old. The age of consent refers to the minimum age at what a person is considered capable of getting consent to sexual acts. That is terrifying. Right. Wow. Okay. Yep. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> but it makes anime a lot more. Like it makes sense now, now, at least. Like why? Yeah. It's, like it's not frowned upon. Because like you'd think that if if they had the uh, 18 Ow. years old for age of consent, like someone at some point in Japan would have been like, all right, you guys can't keep doing this in anime. <laughs> Ow. Yep. Uh, let's see, I don't okay. Want to yet. Yeah, it makes sense now. I'm not okay with it still, but no, you don't have to be okay. Wow. With it. In fact, it's probably better that you're not okay with. It. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's just it's just sort of an interesting anecdote in a way to sort of understand yeah, the whole why. Like Japan the is whole the way it is. Lolita complex thing makes a lot more sense now. Uh huh. Because yeah, people I never, here. I, like, I thought it was. I thought it was just a trope, dude. Isn't there like a huge like fetish in the U.S. for like, uh, barely legal, like just turned eighteen? Yeah, I think so. Like barely legal. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, oh, I just turned eighteen. Time for spring break. It's probably super similar in Japan then. Yeah, but, like, I've been seeing that kind of, like, trope. Because, you know, I watch anime all the time. Mm -hmm. But I've been seeing it so often, and I'm like, uh, okay, that's just a trope yeah. thing. It's not actually real. No, it's... Yeah, I guess that's true. If you thought it was just, like, an anime thing, and, like, you can sort of, like... No, they're actually, your like, head. lusting on 13-year-olds over there. Mm-hmm. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, barely legal means they're waiting for that 12-year-old's birthday. 
So once they become an actual teenager at 13, they're technically legal. That's kind of weird and gross. Yeah. There's a lot of things I like about Japan. That ain't one of them. Yeah. Oh, uh, I got something else about Japan. Very weird thing. Mm-hmm. Um, the first tentacle porn happened in, like, the 1800s. <laughs> that's, that's pretty old school. Yeah. I mean, we're going off topic here, but mm -hmm. just a little bit. No, it was like the it was like the straight up like classic Japanese uh, block print kind of thing. But it was like some lady getting molested by a um, a uh, an octopus. Mm -hmm. And it's called the Fisherman's Wife. And you could look it up. Anybody watching? I. Don't recommend that, man. Don't don't recommend seeing freaking <laughs> pornographic materials on a YouTube channel. Like, are you trying to get us like freaking flagged? <laughs> I mean, it's not like very. So just just really quick disclaimer: we do not actually advise people search this up. <laughs> I mean, I think the worst you see is boobs. Look, people can do what they want. I just wanted to be known that Operation Pixel does not condone searching up pornography. <laughs> Actually, right. I, I would consider it more classic art at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. There's an age of consent and there's a limit to, like... <laughs> no, I'm not talking about, like, it's not a 13-year-old girl. I didn't mean that you meant it was. I just meant, like, you know, you gotta... <sighs> God, I miss hanging out with you, dude. <laughs> I really gotta just finish playing this game. <laughs> Call it an episode. We're not even, I'm not even paying attention to the game, dude. I, I've been sitting there looking at my cards for a while, trying to think, like, is there anything else I should do this turn? Mike Pikachu's about to take out a Snorlax, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> I feel like this is a good episode, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's running a little long, but I'm hoping I can finish uh, whatever her name was. Stephanie. And then we can call it there. Uh, I want to. Who went from energy. Lolita to uh, tentacle porn <laughs> to channel disclaimers? I guess that oh, makes wait. sense. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I have a right sheet. That's what I want to look at. Oops. Check the right you. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, did I tell you that I might be going to Japan next year? Uh, you did not. Yeah. Um, you know our our pre my previous neighbor with my mm -hmm. my parents. I mean, he's still a neighbor of mine. Yeah, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, he's going back to Japan next year to visit his grandparents. Oh, cool. And he invited me along. That's pretty rad. So I am going to be spending, hopefully, if nothing happens terribly, like, you know, COVID doesn't blow up again. Yeah. Hopefully, next year, in the summer, I'm going to sp be spending two weeks in Japan, dude. That's pretty cool. I am so pumped for that. That is, like, number one on my bucket list. Yeah, I'd love to visit Japan one of these days, too. I've, I keep trying to, like, uh, every once in a while, sit down and try to just practice learning the language. But it is so hard to learn, like, in a vacuum. Yeah, it's like, that was the main thing for me, was, like, I really want to go there, but I don't know anybody who, like, can either speak it or, like, translate, mm -hmm. I guess. But, I mean, I know that uh, English is a big language over there. Uh, yeah, there's a fair amount of it. But I have not been confident enough to, like, take the step and oh, here, go alone. Uh, really quick, this won't necessarily help you, uh, but if you're ever curious, uh, there's a channel I've watched a whole bunch of videos from because it's fairly amusing. So I'm going to give a shout-out recommendation to uh, Abroad in Japan. Uh, it's some snarky British guy has done a whole bunch of, like, videos in Japan. 
Uh, and a lot of them are just sort of, like, vlog-type stuff that are, like, just for fun. But a lot of it is, like, really well-done documentary-type stuff where he actually explores places and goes to places. Um, like, there's a lot of good videos on that channel. They're just sort of fun Japanese adventures. I should have put another energy on Raichu. I botched it. Oh, well. But, um, but yeah, dude, like, if all goes well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be spending about two weeks in Japan next year at this time. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm Hope you have so a good one. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'd love to And I don't there. mean that I'm looking for any 13-year-olds. No. <laughs> Nobody means that. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's ever meant that. I mean, maybe someone has, but let's hope nobody's ever meant that. No. No, dude. Like, the thing that I want to experience is, uh... I know you've seen it, but... I mean, if anybody's actually watching this, but the, like, the My Neighbor Totoro... Mm-hmm. Like, the, uh, the rural kind of thing. Yeah, the countryside. Like, I want... I want the I want the um, the shrines and like the rice fields mm -hmm. and like the yeah the countryside. I want that. You're gonna find less English speakers if you go outside of like the big cities. I know. That's exactly why I was so terrified to yeah. like going alone. Does uh our old neighbor know Japanese? <clears throat> he does, but I'm also going with his mother. Oh, okay. Then yeah, she knows Japanese for sure. And we're visiting her grandparents. Okay. Who have been in Japan the entire time. Yeah. So if anything, our old neighbor will able to be, you know, talk to his mom, and they will talk to her, their parents. Yeah. Yeah. I just mean, like, the countryside. Like, I, I'd love to explore the countryside, too. There, Like, the mountains and, like, hills and stuff. Like, there's so many, like, so beautiful gorgeous. trails that I've seen. Oh man! Oh yes. Like God, the thing I want to. Like, I feel like in like the big cities like Tokyo and stuff. I don't think there's like anything I'd want to do there. There's, I've seen. Uh, there was actually this is a place you check out. Uh, figure out where it is and go check it out if you get the chance. In Tokyo, there's some place I've seen that is like a well-known store for old video games. Yeah, I don't. Get, like, I pretty much SNES know exactly where you're talking about. And N64 about. games and crap. Yeah, uh, I assume most of them are going to be Japanese because it's, it's in like, Japan. It, it's it's in the Akihabara district, right? Uh, it could be. Yeah, I'm not super. Which familiar. I get, I get very very confused with the um, the Suicide Forest. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Oh, uh, God, I know what that's called. Aomori, maybe? It's... No, I think Aomori's the island. No, Akigo something is a suicide forest, and then Akigo something is like the otaku district. <laughs> hmm. God, now that we're talking about it, suddenly, like, I'm forgetting everything that I knew. <laughs> I'm trying to remember it. God dang. I think... I think it's Akigohara was the forest at, at the bottom of Mount Fuji. Hmm. Maybe. Oh god, I'm drawing a blank right now. Yeah, I mean, we have the power of the internet at our fingertips. We're sitting here scratching I, I, our head. Yeah, like I guess dummies. I do. You're the one playing the game. I guess I'll look it up. <laughs> Dude, I wonder if Sekigahara is still there. Se oh, oh, oh. Threw me off. Yeah, just you talking about it reminded me. And we talked about a couple episodes ago, I watched the, uh... Akigahara is the forest. Okay. Yeah, that's the forest at the bottom of Mount Fuji where a lot of people commit suicide. Yeah. Which is terrible. What's the other one called? I'm looking it up right now. Uh, how do I say it? Um, Otaku District? <laughs> um, in Japan. Uh, Aki Aki. Yeah, I could talk. Akihabara. 
Ah. So Akihabara and Akigahara. Akigohara. Yeah. Yeah, I can see how that would be right. confusing then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm pretty sure the the story that you're talking about is in Akihabara. Yeah, probably. It seems like the kind of place you'd find like a retro electronics store. Oh, that is like one of my number one things I want to visit in Japan. That's mm -hmm. like, like everything that, that I would think. That's like a. I <laughs> love this place. <laughs> it's a museum and market of everything you love. Exactly. Everything anime, everything old video games. Yes, this is like what I live for. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Stephanie. Her prediction nice. was wrong. I wasn't even paying attention, sorry. Yeah, we were talking about how cool <laughs> and weird Japan is. Uh, Japan is very weird. I can't believe my prediction was wrong! Ooh, she's got laboratory packs! Ooh. Nice. Uh, let's see. Magneton, Marowak, Slowbro, Dodrio, Gambler. And another booster pack. Yep. I really gotta take a look at all these cards I'm getting. Oh, Magmar! I'm not super familiar with Magmar. Yeah, you got a Mag Magmar. Magmar. Butthead. Doesn't look as buddy here, but yes. No, he really looked like a butthead in the original one. Yeah, so. a lot of the artwork of Magmar definitely looks like a butthead. Legit butthead. I see a vision. You're dueling me again. <laughs> How did she know? I will lose. <laughs> they immediately turn away. I'm going to lose again. Dude, how did she know? Because she's got laboratory packs. I need laboratory packs. We don't have hardly <laughs> any from the laboratory set. Nice. <laughs> nice job, bro. <laughs> All right. Dude, I forgot this was the same episode. Holy crap, this one's run a little long. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it's all good. We got through a couple battles. Battles sometimes take a while. Depends on how lucky we get. Oh, I guess the other guy doesn't show up until we take out his uh, two buddies here. Probably? I don't know. Well, uh, we'll find out. But yeah, soon... Oh. Was that guy up there before? Uh, looks like a... Uh... Poke Taku? What were they called in the Game Boy game? <laughs> Pokemon nerds, probably. Poke nerd. Poke nerd? Yeah, that... that... Hey, the long hair and the glasses, and they had, like, yeah. the stuff. I don't know, I just... I thought I ran up here and looked around, and I didn't see that guy. And then I stepped over here, and I was like, Wait, who's that guy up there? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, in any case... We'll find out next time on Operation Pixel. Yep. We'll come back. I'll, uh, maybe mess with my deck. Maybe do some more grinding. Uh, and we'll have some powerful new decks and kick some butt and... It'll be a great time as we continue wrecking these clubs with Pokemon cards. <laughs> what an exciting gonna, adventure it's been. Are you going to straight up, like, complete this game, dude? I don't know. We're making good progress. We are. Sort of. I don't know if anyone's going to watch I'd... this series ever, but... What I'm the hell, you know? This game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, everybody. <laughs> Later.